Every week, I meet parents who say the same thing. I wish I had known sooner. Not because autism is something to fear, but because early understanding changes everything. So in the next five minutes, I'll share the five invisible signs to watch for, why even brilliant kids get overlooked and the exact framework I use to spot autism before anyone else notices. Hi, I'm Dr. Arif Khan, pediatric neurologist in Dubai and founder of Neuropedia, the region's first comprehensive pediatric neuroscience center. When we think of autism, we picture very obvious signs. A child who doesn't speak, someone who rocks back and forth, complete avoidance of eye contact. But the reality is, early autism often looks nothing like that. It looks like a child who's just independent or just focused or just sensitive. The signs are there, we're just not taught to recognize them. I call this the invisible spectrum signs. Subtle behaviors that most parents dismiss as personality quirks. Let me paint you a picture of what early autism actually looks like. Sign number one, they don't point or show you things. By 12 months, most toddlers point at airplanes, at dogs or something interesting, an object. They look at you, point and check if you see it too. They are sharing their world with you. A child on the spectrum might not do this. Instead, they might take your hand and place it directly on what they want. Sign number two, their play looks different. Instead of feeding a toy baby or pretending to talk on a phone, they line up cars by colors. They spin wheels obsessively. They're fascinated by parts of toys rather than the whole. This isn't wrong play, it's just different, but it's a pattern worth noticing. Sign number three, they have unusual sensory reactions. They cover their ears when the blender runs. They stare at spinning fans or moving lights. They might hate the feeling of sand or grass on their feet. Most parents think they're just sensitive, and, and they are. But this level of sensitivity can be a sign of how their nervous system processes the world around them. Sign number four, they don't uh, respond to their name consistently. By 12 months, most children turn when you call their name. A child with autism might not respond even when their hearing is perfect. This gets dismissed as selective hearing or being stubborn, but it's actually about attention and social awareness. Sign number five, limited gestures and social sharing. They might not wave bye-bye, they don't clap when excited, and when something delights them, they experience it alone rather than looking to share their joy with you or anybody else around them. Here's what makes this tricky. Many of these children also have incredible strengths. They might not know these things, but they know letter sounds at 24 months. They memorize entire books. They can focus on puzzles for an hour. The parents see the brilliance and think, hmm, everything's fine. So why do we even, the most attentive parents, miss these early signs? Autism doesn't look the same in every child. Some children with autism are social and affectionate. Some talk early and often. We compare them to other children in our families. Oh, his uncle was also a late talker. A sister was shy too. We normalize differences instead of investigating them. Many children with autism hit typical milestones. They walk on time, they say their first word, they seem to be developing normally, but if you look closely, the quality of those milestones are different. They might say mama, but not use it to call you. They might walk, but not toddle over to show you a toy. The research shows us that the signs are visible by 18 months in most cases. Some studies suggest even earlier. Noticing these signs doesn't mean something is wrong with your child. It means you're paying attention. Early identification isn't about fixing your child. It's about giving them tools to navigate a world that might feel overwhelmingly confusing to them. Children who receive early support show dramatically better outcomes in communication, social skills, and overall quality of life. Not because we are changing who they are, but because we are helping them be the best version of themselves. If you recognize some of these signs in your child, don't panic. Start observing, keep notes, notice patterns, and talk to your pediatrician, a pediatric neurologist, a child psychiatrist, or a child developmental specialist. The earlier you ask questions, the clearer the picture becomes. The child isn't broken, they are not behind, they're just wired differently. And in a world that desperately needs different perspectives, different ways of thinking and different strengths, that's not something to fix. That's something to understand and celebrate. If this helped you see early development with new eyes, you would love watching the video on tantrums and meltdowns and why your kid is not misbehaving but communicating differently. And if you would like me to create a video on a specific topic that you might be concerned about, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.